I'm Kate and today I'm going to be doing my first ever haul video here on YouTube. This is one of those classic beauty guru videos that I have just never done. I'm not sure how that's even possible, but today I'm going to be sharing with you my, wait for it, Ulta haul. And this looks like a ton more than what is actually in here. I'm not sure why I got this big, huge, ginormous bag, but I'm going to share with you all of the goodies that are inside of this bright neon orange bag. And if you are curious as to how to get this look that I'm rocking here today, I will put the tutorial down below. This is my testing my fave YouTubers favorite yearly favorites and how it all came together into one specific look so you can check that out and I just pulled my hair back because I couldn't handle my hair in my face anymore if the best feeling for you at the end of the day is to pull your hair back into a nice comfortable ponytail then go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up so I know I'm not alone because it's just the best feeling ever it is awesome. So if you are excited for this video, I would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss out on future fun videos like this. And if you have suggestions for other videos you'd like to see from me in the future, go ahead and leave a comment down below. All right, let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so the first thing that I am going to be pulling out of here is this really cool thing that I wish that they had come up with a while ago. So this I saw, and this is by the company Kitsch Pro, and this is a satin sleep scrunchie. Now I'm a girl who loves to sleep with my hair up in a messy bun, but I hate pulling it back with one of those tight rubber bands. So this is like the perfect thing. I cannot wait to use this because this will prevent you from getting any kinks in your hair, any of those little weird bands. And then it also says, that it creates friction-free hold, eliminating frizz. It glides through hair without pulling or abrasion. It's a creaseless alternative to traditional elastics. It could be used day or night, and it is for all hair types. So of course, I got the ballet pink color because I love pink, so I am super excited to get this. And again, this is by the company Kitsch Pro. Super, super, super excited to use that. So, the next thing I'm pulling out of here, this is Vegas Nay Lashes by iLure, and this is in the style Grand Glamour. Love me some Grand Glamours, and they were also out of the ones that I love the most. Those are the Lux Baroque. Nope. I do love those. I had to order the Lux Gilded. Those are the really, really dark ones right here. Super full, but they get like all fluttery out at the edges. They are just absolutely stunning lashes. So I did have to place an order for those, but Grand Glamours are awesome. I'm pretty sure iLure is in the top category for my favorite lashes right now, just because they're so pretty. They're affordable. They're right in the middle between like, you know, expensive mink lashes and like the $2 Ardell ones. So these are fan flippantastic and I really really love those so if you're looking for good dramatic lashes that's the way to go and next to coming out of here this is exciting this is the ah almost dropped my bag this is the Revlon Colorstay Brow Pencil. I didn't even look up reviews on this this just looked really good and the Revlon counter counter the wall space that Revlon is on looks completely brand new in my Ulta, and that's what brought me right over to it. Super exciting, because I really like the Revlon brand. And this is also exciting because I am going to be lightening my hair up again, so I knew I needed a blonde pencil. The one I'm using right now, it's a little bit too thin. Thick. So I tried it again today and I just feel like it doesn't work as well as I would like it to So I'm just gonna go ahead and give this baby a try because it felt like it was gonna work really well It's in the shade blonde looks really good. Oh these I don't want to talk about these yet this is part of a video that will be coming up that I'm going to be focusing on one product specifically, my Holy Grail lip gloss. So those I'm pulling out, I don't want you to see it yet because I'm very excited about it and I cannot wait to share with you what it is because it's like really inexpensive too. So 
I'm really happy about it. And speaking of lip gloss, this is Ulta brand. This is the Butter Balm Lip Gloss, and this one is in the shade Belle. This is absolutely beautiful, and I think, did I smell this in the store? I feel like I did. Mm, no, that's not the one. Maybe there's another one that smells good in here. I don't know. I just remember smelling something and it just smelled so good. I had to get it. But this I've heard really good things about. I've seen reviews online. I haven't really seen a lot of videos talking about this, but this looks like a super creamy, beautiful, lustrous lip gloss. So I'm super excited to try that. I'm kind of in the lip gloss zone right now, even though I do have a liquid lip on. I wish I had a nude glossy lip that I could be rocking, but this is a Kylie color so this is going to be on me for the rest of the day and it's going to take some serious removal later on so not looking forward to that but I did also pick up when I went I had the 20% off coupon for Ulta but also Ulta brand was buy two get two free which I thought was super fantastic so I checked out their lip glosses and I got three more nudie glosses so these are the shiny sheer line this one is in the shade peony this one is in the shade Rose, and this one is pink. <laughs> Very creatively named. I just thought that these looked beautiful, and I'm super excited to try more from the Ulta line because I haven't really used them before. I remember a long time ago when I was still taking piano lessons that the color Princess by the Ulta, wow, ah! No, by the Ulta brand was like my go-to lip gloss, but that's like all I can remember trying. So I really want to start experimenting with more of Ulta's own line just because it looks pretty good. That table's too far away. <laughs> then, because Benefit Gimme Brow is apparently like discontinued and it's one of my like absolute favorite things, I immediately went to Pinterest and looked up a dupe and this is what they said was it. And this was like, $2. So Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. I'm really excited to try this and see if it's going to do the same thing, but it really does look like a fantastic dupe for it. So really excited to get to try that and see if that's a way more affordable option because Benefits one is like $21 and that was like two. So <laughs> definitely a better deal. And apparently I was definitely on a lip gloss kick here. This one is by Revlon and this one is in the shade, oh my goodness, something very small, snow pink. So as you can tell, I've been on the hunt for a really great new lip gloss because I did recently discover that some of my absolute favorites have jojoba oil in them, which is great for some people, but I am completely allergic to it. It's just, it's not good on my lips. They burn, they peel, it's not pretty. So I had to get rid of some of my lip glosses that were my absolute favorites but they were hurting me so I had to get rid of them so these do not have them in it so have it in it so I'm very excited to try these and let's see now from the prestige side yes that was all my drugstore stuff then I picked up the Becca shimmering skin perfecter in well, Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in the shade Moonstone. And this is actually for my mama, because I just recently picked up Champagne Pop after trying Moonstone mixed in with my foundation. And I'm telling you, it made the biggest difference. I love L'Oreal True Match. And when I blend this in with it, it creates this beautiful foundation. So if you're looking for something that's just going to like, Oh God, I can't even describe the way that it looks. It looks like airbrushed. It blends beautifully. It gives you a glow without being like too glowy, but it's not matte either. It's just the perfect combination. So that's my favorite base that I've been wearing recently. And so Moonstone is definitely the perfect shade for my mama. And I'm using the Champagne Pop Liquid. So that you definitely want to get 20% off on, but I only use half a pump of that whenever I'm wearing foundation, so that's gonna last me a really, really long time. So for me, I think it's completely worth the investment for something that makes my foundation look that good. Speaking of foundations, I have the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation in the shade Fair. This is a powder foundation. I did a video talking exclusively about my powder foundation routine. It is linked down below. I look very different in that video, but I believe that the products that I use with this are still the same. I use 
Urban Decay's Naked Skin and Tarte Shape Tape wherever I need it and then I will set everything with this foundation and it gives you a cashmere finish. I'm not even kidding. Your skin looks so flawless that I think this might be my new favorite foundation. It just looks so good. And keep in mind, I do not need a lot of coverage. I thank the Lord above for blessing me with good skin because I do not have acne. I don't have fine lines. I don't have wrinkles. So I'm very happy with a light coverage foundation right now. It totally works for me. So this is what I am most happy using. And I just got my mama one because we are totally like in sync with how we feel about makeup. We just want something that's kind of lightweight, low maintenance, but still is going to give you that really great, nice coverage without it being like too much. So this is actually not a replacement. It's my second one. It's really, really great. I just... I'm loving this foundation. So if you're looking for something that gives you that kind of a look, that's definitely the way to go. And I only have three more things in here and they're all from the same family. So I'm going to be moving my bag now. <laughs> so I think these are brand new. Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty darn sure I just saw a picture of these on Instagram and that typically means that it's like brand new. So these are by Laura Geller and this is the Color Luster Lip Gloss High Def Top Coat. These look beautiful. I swatched them in the store. I could not believe how gorgeous they were. So definitely a lip gloss haul here apparently. So this one is in the shade Diamond Dust. This is like the replacement for my MAC Dazzle Glass. Dazzle Glass I discovered has jojoba oil in it and that was my absolute favorite lip gloss formula of all time. So I've been looking for a good replacement as you can tell. And these really look like they're gonna be it because they're super sparkly and gorgeous. Then I also got the shade Gilded Honey. If I can get it open, that would be great. This is a beautiful shade too. So I think that these are all colors that coordinate with highlights, at least I think, I know those two are, but I'm not sure if this last one is, is, <laughs> is, and this one is in pink sapphire. So this is, I think, yeah, pink sapphire. These are gorgeous. I cannot wait to try these out. They just look so glittery, so pretty. And when I swatched them in the store, I fell in love with them and I was trying so hard to only get one. And then it was like, oh, well maybe I could just get another one. And then it became three. So, you know, you know how it is when you're in there and you're just like, well, it's 20% off. I don't get this often, especially when it's off prestige as well. So <laughs> I'm very happy for those. And I cannot wait to do a whole lip gloss video talking to you about my favorite luxury lip glosses and drugstore lip glosses. So if there's a specific product that you really would like to see in a tutorial or to see my review on it, leave me a comment down below because that is my entire Ulta haul. Clearly, it was a massive lip gloss haul because I was so heartbroken about having to say goodbye to some of my favorites that I had to bring some more babies into my collection. Not that I necessarily needed them, but alas, here we are. <laughs> So as per usual, I will have my socials linked down below. I would love for you to go over and find me over there, send me a message so we can get to know each other a little bit better since you see me on camera on a bi-weekly basis, but really talking about makeup specifically and beauty stuff. If you have questions you would like to ask me or you would want me to do a Q&A or if you would like to ask my advice, just send me a direct message because I would love to be able to get to talk to you and just connect with you guys. So. I believe that's it. All right, my darlings, I love you all dearly and I will see you next time in my new video. And remember, be kind, be smart, and be glamorous.